Hi people! I just finished Bruja Born by Zoraida Cordova and I have to say boom! Yeah, really, I'm loving this Brooklyn Brujas series. I mean, it's amazing. If you like witchcraft and witches, you're going to love this one. It's like, uh, think like Euro European witchcraft uh, and turn, turn into something like what it will be if it had like Latino uh, kind of, you know, kind of role. Um, it's like the brujeria, it's like the voodoo, it has lots of things that uh, I, for, for, for myself, I have never seen when I see TV series or read books about witches and witchcraft. It's more like, it has always been more like European kind of thing. And in these books I'm discovering things that I knew, but they're like, it's like reading them, reading them a new, like it's been created again and it's been given this uh, South American flavor and I'm loving it because it's amazing. In this book we are going to find like a twist on the zombies thing, uh, we are going to find like, uh, it's going to be called Casi Muertos and it's going to be amazing because this is going to be like a new take on the zombie science, for say it in some way. and. I love this book. I love it, this book so much. I'm going to put the, um, the plot summary under here. But I have to say that in the first book of the series, Lovely Lost, we follow Alex and her adventures. And here we are going to find uh, Lula and how she feels after what happened in the first book. We are going to find a, a character that I, I think that's dealing with uh, some form of anxiety. Uh, so I think that she is uh, suffering with some kind of post-traumatic stress. That's going to be the Lula we are going to find at the beginning of the book. Uh, she's a girl that has been trauma traumatized, traumatized by things that happened to her in the first book. And she's learning how to deal with the consequences of everything that happened in the first book. And uh, just at the beginning, uh, they are going to, to be in a major road accident. There is going to be uh, two buses full of young adolescents who are going to, to die. And she finds herself having a choice. Does she try to bring back her boyfriend or she doesn't? So yeah, you can imagine what she does and you can imagine what kind of happens because I say something about zombies, right? And uh, I love this book a lot. I love uh, that the characters of this book are human. They make mistakes and sometimes they are afraid and sometimes they have problems and sometimes they have to keep silent about things but they feel everything inside of them. It doesn't have to be exactly the main character because here we are going to find lots of things related with Rossi, who is the, the smallest of the sisters. And I love this world and I love this family so much. I also, I, I've been happy to see that there is lots of links to the Vicious Deep series. Before writing these Bruges books, uh, Zoraida Cordova writes uh, three books about a merman. I have yet to read it, but I have flipped through the pages because I have two, two of the three books here. And we are going to find lots of references to, to those books. And for me, that is amazing because, you know, it's like revisiting old friends and all that. I have to say that uh, the way that Zoraida has of uh, writing and telling the story is as addictive as it was in the first book. You want to know more, you want to know what's going to happen. And I, for once, I am very happy to see, uh, as I say, characters that are so human that they take decisions and they are not always right. Uh, sometimes there is bad consequences and sometimes these characters own that consequences and try to fix things and I love that there are girls and women in these books that they have the help of guys but they do the things in their own way, at their own pace and with their own bravery and I love it so much because that's something we also need and as I say in the, in the first book I love that we have darker skins I love to see people of color in books. I like to see different cultures and religions and beliefs. And that's something that we are going to find in these in these books. As much as I recommended the first one, I'm recommending the second one because it's amazing. 
and I really want to read the third one. When it's going to be out, oh, please, I need to know. I think it's gonna be Rossi's story, I don't know, but I'm really addicted to these sisters and to the wall and it's amazing. You have to check this author out if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, bye!